Hello reformers and welcome back to 16th century. And, well, we did join an army in the previous episode, but I decided that it was just going to take a little bit too long for my liking to sort of get anywhere. I waited for a, I don't know, I didn't really wait for that too, for too long to be honest. I mean, I just got a bit impatient to be honest, as well as of course wanting to, you know, do this looter quest, but hopefully, is that done now? I hopefully, hopefully that is actually done. But yes, as you can also see, <laughs> we don't have any chest armor. Now there's a reason for that. I accidentally sold my torso armor while I was stationed with that army. So that obviously did not work out too well. <laughs> suffice it to say, but obviously it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because I'm going to be well, hopefully getting some better torso armor as we go on, and well, hopefully I'll be able to maybe join, uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get Renown, I suppose I could, I could try doing some tournaments and things like that, but how else am I supposed to get Renown? I mean, I, I, yeah, obviously fighting things, you know, fighting things are usually the, you know, usually one of the best ways to go about it. Shall we just take a look here and see what's going on here? Okay, so, yeah, mercenary horsemen, ransom. Do we have anyone? I think we do have some prisoners, actually. Sell all the prisoners for 64. There we go. Well, that was, that was worth it. Not really, not really. All right, so I think it's about time that we go over to the mainland of Europe and we see what's going on there. But first, we're going to recruit... A bunch of rather nice people and we're gonna try and level those up while we are on the mainland as well and of course while this is happening my weavery and dye works are hopefully going to kick in and hopefully they're gonna do a good job all right okay so apparently the other people don't want to join me and apparently those people will not join me either okay so what do the banner carriers do what do the what do the banner carriers actually do i mean i know that they have an effect on the morale of a particular party but that is that it i mean i don't really care about it that much if that is indeed the case well it doesn't really matter too much because we do have this fellow to level up i don't know what to spec him into right now to be honest i mean he has some very very good relation I mean, relation? Are you serious? Leadership, come on. Ah, uh, yes, he has some good leadership. So that would in turn mean that he is, oh my, he has six in riding skill? Whoa, okay, we're going to make him into some sort of heavy cavalry unit then, I suppose. I mean, he has some really, really good stats as well. That seems good to me. All right, so we also have Juan Carlos as well. And he is, of course, I think he is a gunner. He's either a gunner or a cannoneer. No, he's a gunner. There we go. He's using a musket and he has some pretty, I mean, he has some pretty decent gear. I'm going to replace the dagger because the dagger is absolutely awful. And otherwise, I guess we can just move on. Okay, so we're going to try and do a little bit of damage to something. I mean, I'd like to, wait a minute. Do you think I can become a mercenary? I'd like to become a mercenary of England if at all possible. I think that would probably lend itself to the best thing that we could probably do right now. So let's have a look and see. No, no, no. Okay, apparently he's... Wow, he really hates us, doesn't he? He really does not like us one bit. He is bad-tempered, so I suppose that is the reason. But anyway, where are the other vassals? Where are all the vassals that were here? They've all run away and, and gone elsewhere. Ah, oh, oh, there's... Oh, no, that's a Scottish vassal. I don't really need to worry about them at the moment. They're not obviously aggressive towards me, thankfully. Maybe I should buy a Weavery and Dye Works in here. That might make a little bit of sense, but then you just have to bear in mind that I might be at war against them if I do become a mercenary. But then in that case, I suppose I'll just help the English to, you know, conquer them, I guess, and try and unify the kingdom. Uh, yes, something like that, at least. So we're just going to go for Weavery and Dye Works. I mean, while we are staying neutral... I suppose that's a good idea as any. And there's Marshall. Really? Where, where, where are all the vassals? They have all disappeared. This is very strange. Are they in here? Oh, there's good natured. I suppose I could go and speak to the good natured fellow. Do you smell that sort of? Oh, yeah, this is, this is all very much, you know, still native. 
native speech, so really no need. You have no casual clothes. The castle guard provides you a common casual cloth, uh, well, cloth, uh, temporarily. Now, this is the cool thing about this mod as well. It enables social outfits. So basically, if you have some casual clothes, you will wear that when you go into these kinds of places, so castles and things like that, which is actually pretty cool. It adds a little bit more of atmospheric nature, you know, a little bit of a thing like that. There we go. Okay, so this is exactly what I wanted to do. I'll join the Kingdom of England. There we go. Now, we are technically not really at war against the Kingdom of Scotland. We're not really at war against them. They, they're kind of just grumbling at the moment with us. So I suppose it's not really a sort of big deal, but I don't know. I'm a bit, I don't know. Am I a bit worried about it? I guess I am a bit worried about it. Let's just level up a bunch more of these. I'm going to get some footmen now because it's about time, I think, that we get a little bit of footmen. And maybe we could try and take on one of the Scottish vassals, because as far as I'm aware, they are not exactly fielding a lot of units. I mean, I could join in this battle, for example. There we go. Let's do it. 372 against 133. Basically, the only thing I'm trying to do right now is I am trying to level up. That's it. I'm just trying to level up my forces. I don't know why I have a horse. Why do I have a horse? I don't want this horse. Thank you very much. I should give that to my companion, probably, but yes, anyway, I'm just trying to level up my units, trying to level up myself, and I've also just realized that I still don't have any torso armor. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Isn't that always the way with me? I'm just like, oh, I don't have a horse? Oh, yeah, I don't have a horse, but yes, and then I forget two seconds later, and that's absolutely fantastic, but yes, this is relatively similar. But I suppose it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to be staying far, far away from the fields of battle. Well, technically we're on the fields of battle, but you know what I mean. We're not going to get involved in any sort of skirmishes. I mean, we're going to shoot some people with my rather wonderful crossbow because I personally feel like the crossbow actually does a lot of damage, but I am going to be a little bit cautious about actually... Oh my. Be a bit careful here, shall we? Byron, come on now. Don't get shot. Okay, I'm going to go first person here for a second and see if I can get a couple of kills here. All right, we are, we are with King Henry, so I suppose that's pretty decent. Oh my, are you serious? We, we are literally, wow, we are, uh, we are literally the worst person ever right now. And these guys have amazing amounts of athletics, as you can no doubt tell. Yes. Okay, now, uh, yeah, let me see here. What am I going to do? I'm going to tell my people to charge in, if at all possible. I would very much appreciate it if they would assist me. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with our allies. They've lost literally all of their people so far. Are you serious about this? Are you literally serious? King Henry VIII is losing against some random vassal? I am very strange. I am very strange. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I said. I am very strange. Well, yeah, that's technically true. I am I am quite strange and a little bit odd, but the fact is this is a very strange situation as well. So, yes, definitely don't want to have that kind of thing going on. Ah, thank you very much. Our hired blades, our hired blades, my hired blades, are hitting in there and actually doing some damage. Ugh, I can't believe that I actually had to help out in this particular situation. You would have thought that someone of King Henry VIII's caliber, as I shot that guy in the back, very honorable, yes, but you'd think that of his caliber, you would easily see a victory by the side of him, right? I mean, if you go into a battle with him, you would expect to win, wouldn't you? But, oh well, apparently, you know, apparently he's a bit a bit weird. You know, he's not, not really doing a very good job at the moment. Okay, maybe I can try and shoot that guy if I... If I oh, why is my accuracy so bad? Well, obviously the, my proficiency is awful, but once it's a little bit better, maybe we'll be able to get a couple more... Ki really? Are you serious? How did I miss that? It was right in the center. Maybe I'm still acting as though this crossbow is an actual bow instead and I'm usually gonna be compensating for the arrow drop I talked about that in the previous episode ah yes arrow drop or well, technically in this case it's bolt drop but still there doesn't seem to be that much bolt drop and I need to be a little bit more conscious of that I, you know I can't just be like oh I'm just gonna fire away randomly you know I'm just gonna fire away now that's the thing two of my current series at the moment I'm using bows 
I'm using bows, so obviously I am a little bit brainwashed by the behavior that I have to have in that particular situation. So there you go, at least we won that, and we didn't really lose anything that I'm too cut up about, with the exception of maybe one English knight, but just, do you see how many we lost in that? That's crazy. Wow. I can't believe that he lost that many. And now we have to deal with the last remaining 33 of them, which I suppose is fine. I'm going to stay on my horse for this, just so that I might be able to level myself up somewhat. And I guess we'll see where we go next after that. But yeah, unfortunately, the die works that I have now constructed is going to be, uh, you know, sequestered. So that's not very good, is it? No, it's not very good. That's exactly what I thought, though was going to happen. So I suppose I only have myself to blame, but I am spending money that technically is not mine in the first place. Technically, it's it's the games and everything. And you know what I'd actually do is if any of you have been convinced by, you know, the first couple of parts of this special feature slash miniseries type thing, and if you've been convinced to play or download this, this mod, then I'd highly recommend actually taking the extra money at the beginning because that enables much more shall we say dynamic gameplay because you know when you start off you know when you start off usually in warband you got to fight some looters you got to you know work your way up from from zero and that is a very very fun way of doing things for the most part but if you've done that as much as i have it's kind of refreshing to have a different start and that's exactly the reason why i loved mods like Blood and Steel, and uh, let's see, well, maybe Fantasy Calradia, and you know, maybe one of the previous versions of Parisno when they had those special, what is it, special items that you could select in the character selection screen. Like I, I, I for example, I remember playing as a d as a dwarf, and I could select a huge rhino type thing to ride around and to stomp on people and stuff like that. I mean, it just had a very high charge skill, charge attribute, whatever you want to say. And that kind of thing was, in my opinion, really, really cool. So anytime a mod does something a little bit differently with the start, I'm always right behind that mod because it's just really, really fun. I don't think that this mod is still in development. I could be completely wrong about that because I've been wrong about you know that sort of thing before so don't quote me on it but I believe this mod originally came out in 2012 which coincidentally is when I first started playing Mountain Blade which is a rather amusing thing but anyway there you go we uh, we are bare chested oh yes we are Byron bare chested bear tilled yes apparently that's what's going on here ah uh, yes okay oh we do get to take him prisoner or we could just kill him <laughs> no, I, I think I'm actually going to let him go because he is a martial lord. And I think that if we are going to create our own faction, which might very well be a thing that we will end up doing, then it would be kind of nice to have some martial vassals potentially joining us. So I'm going to let him go, gain some honor and all that sort of thing. And I'll just take one prisoner. That's absolutely fine. And uh, we can take that, even though that's technically the garb of our enemies. Yes technically at the moment. That's what it is. Okay, so there's King Henry. Let's see how many people they actually have in here. They don't even have that many. Now, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Yes, 490, you know, 490 units. That's a lot, right? Yeah, that is a lot to this early in the game. I mean, we've literally just played for, what, six or seven days so far? And... Well, the main reason why I say that is because they don't have too many high tier units. As you can see, most of them are archers, swordsmen, horsemen, militia, etc, etc. And they only have one or two knights. So I can assume that it's going to be not even that difficult to maybe take that. It really just depends on what the faction is willing to do. Now, thankfully, we are now at York and I can maybe buy something. I mean, I could buy this. That would be reasonable, I suppose. I, I don't really want to spend a huge amount of money on it until I am sure how much money I'm getting from the Weavery and Die Works. I mean, I could take a look at my weekly budget. Yeah, that's not going to show me yet, unfortunately, because they're not up and running just yet. So I, uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, I, I, I'll probably go to London. Let's go to London and actually see whether they have something a little bit 
better, perhaps, for a little bit cheaper, maybe? Yeah, you're never going to find anything cheap in London, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, ooh, this is nice. I think I like this, but I, I, as I said in the previous episode, I would love to get red and black. Red and black looks really cool, so I don't know whether I should... I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Why not? I mean, we kind of need it. And I'm going to just swap out that horse. Thank you very much. Don't particularly need it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's just hope. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that the Weaverian Dye Works are going to come through for us. And they're going to do so much. You know, they're going to just give us a bunch of money. That would be very nice. Anyway, the main problem I'm foreseeing right now is that we are currently at war against the Kingdom of France. And that's a bit worrying because I'm going by myself into their territory. Okay, so he has 33 and he has 77. He's good natured. He is sadistic. So we want to kill the sadistic fellow if at all possible. Hello there. He has... Whoa, look at his armor. His armor is just so menacing looking. I wish I had that kind of armor. I mean, I kind of do have that kind of armor right now, at least on my torso. But... Everything else is not, not really that good. So, yeah, this should be a pretty easy fight for us, but it really depends. I mean, if he has a bunch of knights and things, then obviously we're probably going to suffer mm, quite a few more casualties than we would otherwise like. So let's see if I'm able to get a couple of kills or maybe a little bit of damage at the very least with my crossbow. I would like to be able to do something like that, but these guys are using shields for the most part, I think. So obviously that's going to result in, yes, much less damage being inflicted. Let's actually see where the bolt goes. The bolt is not even going in a bad place. I mean, it seems to be going exactly where I need it to go, but apparently I'm just really, really bad with crossbows at the moment. So do forgive my lack of skill. It's been a long, long time since I have played with a crossbow. I think the last time I played with a crossbow was one of my Clash of Kings series. And I think it was a long, long time ago that I did do that because the last couple of series that I've done on Clash of Kings, I have used... Is it throwing weapons? Whoa, these guys are... Whoa, these guys have massive reach. Yeah, I need to be a bit careful of that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's just try and deal some damage here. I do bear in mind I have a very, very bad weapon proficiency. So my speed that I'm going to be using here is absolutely awful. And I do need to tell my... Oh, no... I do need to tell my archers to come back here because they are getting massacred and that is not very nice. So let's try and see what I can do here. C could you just charge? Can you just charge, guys? Can you just charge and kill them all, please? Ah, oh, it seems like I'm going to have to go back and, you know, recruit a couple of extras from the barracks in London or something like that because it seems like these guys are just absolutely incompetent. And I'm really surprised about that, to be honest, because I really thought that we would be able to run these guys down, but I suppose it's just because I took so long in telling them to charge in. And that's generally the reason why you're going to have, and indeed suffer, more casualties than you would otherwise like, because it's usually your own fault. And in this case, it certainly is my fault. So, yes, that was, that was pretty bad. We lost 17. Most of them were only militia and footmen. So that's not too bad. I personally don't think that's too bad. We can take this guy prisoner if we so desire. I think I'm probably going to be taking him prisoner because sadistic. I'm not really a big fan of having a sadist in our faction. So it would probably be a better idea to kill him. But the problem with that is that it's going to reduce our honor so dramatically that it's going to make the good-natured and the martial and, you know, all the, all the positive personality types hate us because we are killing things. So I'm going to take him prisoner instead. I actually thought that my, that my relation with the Kingdom of England would actually go up, but apparently not. That is a bit of a shame. Ooh, large bag of bolts. Thank you very much. Give me that. Oh, yeah. That's what we like to see. All right, so I'm not going to be taking anything else. It's not really worth it, I would say. Now, we have 57 remaining, but the main reason why I wanted to do that is so that we could level up all of these. So, there we go. We're getting some longbow guards here, and should we get more pikemen? Or should we get some more infantry? Uh, infantry become heavy billmen and swordsmen. I don't know. I think we'll just go for, like, a mix, I guess. I think a mix is probably the best choice for us at the moment. So let's hope that 
that is the right decision. Anyway, I'm going to go back to London and see if we can recruit a couple more units from the barracks here. There we go. Yes. Okay, so what are we getting here? Six. Oh, wow, we're getting a huge amount, aren't we? Look at that. Well, the banner carriers, I personally feel, are kind of a waste of space at the moment, which is not a very good thing to say, to be honest, about units that are wanting to fight in your in your army, but it's true. I personally feel like they're not exactly good, are they? I mean, they're, they're okay. I mean, they deal a little bit of damage, but they're not really very usable, in my opinion. Hmm. Oh, well, never mind. At the very least, we have defeated our first French vassal, our first vassal in general, and hopefully we'll be able to do more of that as time goes on, as we level up a couple more. Do bear in mind, however, that I think because we have these English knights, do they have trainer skill? They don't, but I, I, I guess there's just some sort of passive ability that higher level units have in this mod that enables them to do things like this. So I am really, really pleased about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give this guy a little bit of gear because he actually doesn't have anything good right now. So going to be, he has a horse. He already has a horse. I didn't realize he had a horse, but I need to get him a better horse. So I guess what I'll do is in between episodes, I'm going to be waiting here for some time and I'm going to try and see when our enterprises are up and running because once they're up and running, then we will have a good idea about how much we can spend on armaments for our various companions and how much we need to save. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.